hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the model question paper for the mathematics subject for uh, CSE students and allied branches right so today I will discuss uh, the question number 10th of the model 5th analysis of uh, variances ANOVA a trial was run to check the effects of different diets positive numbers indicate weight loss and negative numbers indicate weight gain okay check if there is an average difference in the weight of people uh, following different diets using an ANOVA table so we need to reach the ANOVA table by forming some tables there is a procedure whatever we have done so far in the previous lectures if you are not watched yet I have provided the link in the description box you can watch all the ANOVA videos were there and Latin square design problems so it's a very simple problem it is not mentioned here uh, which type of ANOVA you have to apply here so you can go for one way ANOVA which is the easier one okay so this is your interface of the table uh, low fat low calorie low protein and low carbohydrate uh, low carbohydrate all the tatas are given for the particular variety over here so we need to form some tables over here then after we can reach the ANOVA table okay so let me first draw the table again this one okay you should uh, draw this table again what is the given format of the table okay then you have to carry out the total of this uh, these uh, observations were here so 8 plus 2 10 13 2 that is 15 9 plus 4 that is 13 plus 5 is 18 plus 2 is 20 6 plus 3 is 9 13 13 minus 1 is sorry this is your 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 4 is 13 minus 1 is 12 right 12 plus 2 is 14 and then 3 uh, 1 4 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 3 is 10 okay by totaling this much you will get t value which we need in the later on formula over here okay so this is your 35 47 57 50 61 71 is the summation of t okay then t i square you have to square these terms now right so i can write here 15 into 15 which is equal to 225 20 square which is equal to 400 12 square is 144 14 square is equal to 196 and 10 square is 100 okay now another table you have to take squares of these numbers so 8 square is 64 4 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 right then 9 square is 81 16 25 and 2 square is 4 6 square is 30 square 36 9 uh, this is our 16 1 7 square is 49 25 4 0 and this is your 9 1 9 and 9 again okay now you have to sum up these terms over here so this is our 64 plus 81 plus 36 plus 49 plus 9 which is equal to 239 okay then 4 plus 16 plus 9 plus 25 plus 1 which is equal to 55 then 9 plus 25 plus 16 plus 4 plus 9 which is equal to 63 then 4 4 uh, 8 9 9 plus 9 is 18 now we have to do some of these terms some of squares you have to take which we need in the formula so 239 plus 55 plus 63 plus 18 which is equal to 375 so I can write here summation of x i square is equal to 375 now there are some formulas which are readily available in your handbook you can use of them and take the solutions of these particular uh, formulas over here so this is your first correction factor which is equal to t square by n we have calculated summation of t that is your 71 so 71 square divided by total number of observations are 20 see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 as it is a 4 cross 5 matrix sorry 5 cross 4 5 rows and 4 columns so divided by 20 now i can calculate the correction factor that is your 71 square which is equal to 5041 divided by 20 which is equal to 252.05 so 252.05 this is your t square by and now total sum of squares tss is equal to summation of xi square summation of xi square we have calculated that is 375 minus correction factor we have calculated in the above step that is 252.05 
so I can simply subtract it sorry this is your 375 minus 252.05 which is equal to 122.95 so TSS is equal to 122.95 this is your TSS value fine then sum of squares between the treatments SST is equal to summation of TI square divided by NI minus CF TI square means we have calculated separately here that is your 225 divided by NI NI means number of varieties are 4 divided by 4 plus this is your 400 divided by 4 plus 144 divided by 4 plus 196 divided by 4 plus 100 divided by 4 these are the ti terms so we have to take the all uh, summation of all these terms then minus correction factor already we have calculated that is 252 252.05 now let me calculate this one 225 plus 400 plus 144 plus 196 plus 100 divided by 4 minus correction factor is 252.05 which is equal to 14.2 so sst is equal to 14.2 now there is the error sum of square is due to error so we have to calculate it so this is uh, given by tss minus sst so tss we have calculated that is 122.5 uh, sorry 95 minus sst is one sorry 14.2 so let me calculate it 122.95 minus 14.2 which is equal to 108 sse is equal to 108.75 so you should cross check also my calculations may be wrong in this case over here as i am making the video i am not uh, practicing it so you should uh, calculate in the particular manner and in the uh, patients were there okay so a lot of calculations are there so now i can write these values in this particular anova table where uh, it consists of source variation degree of freedom sum of squares mean squares and f ratio so final uh, purpose of this uh, calculation is to calculate the f ratio over there right so degree of freedom between treatments is uh, number of varieties minus one which is equal to three and error is equal to total number of observations minus number of varieties so 20 minus 4 is equal to 16 so at this 3 comma 16 you have to check in the distribution app distribution table what are the f ratio first of all let me write here sst value which we have calculated that is 14.2 and sse value is 108.75 right then mss mss is given by sst divided by degree of freedom that is 14.2 divided by 3 right he, uh, here we have 108.75 divided by 16 now i can calculate mss value 14.3 divided by 3 sorry 14.2 divided by 3 which is equal to 4.73 4.73 and next is <clears throat> 108.75 divided by 16 which is equal to 6.79 are you getting my point so now let me calculate the f ratio okay f ratio will be here uh, which are is maximum in this case this is 6.79 okay so i can write here f is equal to 6.79 divided by this mss that is 4.73 let me calculate it 6.79 divided by 4.73 which is equal to 1.43 so f is equal to 1.43 so you have to check uh, this 3 comma 16 okay in the f distribution table so that you can get the particular value okay so this 1.43 i can write here f is equal to 1.43 is less than f of 3 comma 16 at 5 percent level of significance significance therefore our hypothesis is accepted hypothesis is accepted in this case okay so this is all about today's solution for this particular problem thank you so much and all the best for your examinations